Okay. I'm here with Mr. Aleppo. He's frequently interviewed by 108 Morris 108. And he's currently in Aleppo, which is under siege. Um, what's the situation like? I know that tomorrow is Ramadan, but you have a shortage of food. Yeah, it's been it's been like that for the last week, for the last uh, four days actually. Uh, uh, vegetable markets are practically empty. You can't find a single tomato uh, out there. Aleppo has been under siege for full more th over than a year, and then uh, uh, all merchandise, all fuel, all supplies were restricted. Uh, restricted. But, but uh, what what happened in the last few days is actually. The, the 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 FSC terrorists and their Al Qaeda leaders, they have they have completely banned the uh, any any vegetables or any food supplies to enter Aleppo or particularly the the parts of the city that are under the Syrian Arab Army control. So, what do you think they hope to achieve by doing this? I mean, they they they. Obviously, couldn't get people to join them willingly because they know they don't have support from the people of Aleppo mainly and of many parts of Syria, and that's why they are actually forcing people to join them. They are, I mean, they, this is like saying you either join us or you die starving. So, what are you what are you doing about the siege? How are people surviving? So far, so far, I mean, we've been surviving on, mainly on bread, which is uh, limited. I mean, limited and, and uh, less available every day because the flour supplies are, are you know, are, are, are actually are less every day. They are shrinking every day, and, and uh, that's the main. That's, that's the main thing that people eat. And there are also some 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 grain supply that. that that has been stored for for uh, quite you know for some period, but I doubt it will last uh, uh, people more than a few days. I don't know what will happen next. Uh, I expect the worst to be honest, because people, I mean, the, the, uh, if if adults can survive in anything, I mean, what about kids? What about infants? What about you know toddlers and and the people who who need formula milk to to stay alive? Uh, um, it's really a huge humanitarian disaster, if we may say. Uh, it's really strange because you don't really hear any media talking about this happening right now. And I was wondering, um, you know, people are immediately going to ask, has there been any airlifts of food supplies coming into to Aleppo? Um, uh, first of all, the mass media is only concerned when 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 the 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 story actually serves their actually serves their 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 aims and and they never demonize the FSA their so-called freedom fighters i mean how can they say that the the freedom fighters that the us is arming and and are funding is funding and how can and can they say that those freedom fighters are actually starving over 2 3 million people they can't they just can't say that also about the food supply and uh, air air drops the 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 terrorists have have repeatedly attacked uh, uh, choppers and air and, uh, and airplanes that that uh, that are supposed to supply civilians mainly with food and bread and there are videos on YouTube they boast about themselves targeting those air, air, uh, airplanes and choppers. I understand it's uh, Ramadan tomorrow and what are people's mood like there? How, what's the atmosphere like? Well, actually, people. I mean, I was out today. I was. I walked for a few hours outside, and people are, are really fed up. Are really tired. They, 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 you can see sadness and and grief in their eyes. Some people are walking, and and tears are involuntarily dropping out of their eyes. This is a huge disaster, and I don't know what we can do. I don't know what. Anyone can do, but someone must do something about this. 
Earlier, you told me、uh, when we were talking that you were hearing mortars dropping. Is this usual? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, every every day, a few dozen mortar rounds fall all around the the areas, the so-called safe areas, the safe areas that we live in, under the the protection of the S- Syrian Arab Army. Of course, when they can't enter this area and they can't invade it, and、uh, you know,、uh, force the people out of their homes. And actually, r- rob their their the their homes out of everything. They they target the the these safe areas with mortars and with snipers, and which is、uh, c- very common and very very well known all around Aleppo. So, for the people watching this right now, is there anything you would ask of them or ask them to do? I don't really think I can ask anyone to do anything. I mean, I'm not gonna be like those、uh, freedom activists who are begging on 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 YouTube and on Al Jazeera for for to ar- for 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 USA to arm them and for the Israel to help them. We're not begging, and we're not actually. I'm just here to deliver a message that the, we are the people of Aleppo. We will fight till the last day until every last one of us is dead. We will never give up, and we will never surrender to them. We will never give up, and we will never surrender to them. We will never give up, and we will never surrender to them. They may starve us, but they will never break us. Absolutely agree with you about not begging for help from foreign powers. I would only ask, as well as you,、uh, as my my viewers are the people. They're not the governments. They're not the leaders. And I would send them a message to do something about their own governments.、Um, this is totally different from asking for. Your enemies to bombard your nation, isn't it? Yes, definitely. That's the difference between us and them. We are the people of resistance. We are the people who are fighting for the sovereignty of our state, of our country, of our Syria, and we are not asking any foreign invaders to bombard country, to take our country down, just to take one man out of power. A lot of people are going to. Then make a comment about Hezbollah's involvement, and they will claim that that is a breach of Syria's sovereignty. What would you say about that? I mean, I, that's exactly. I mean, that's really stupid to say that this is a breach of Syria's sovereignty. First of all, Hezbollah's Hezbollah's involvement has been very limited to the areas surrounding and around the Lebanese border. That's number one. Number two, most of the Hezbollah fighters are actually Syrian nationals. People with Syrian ID, I know that personally. And third, thirdly,、uh, this, the you know the involvement of this、uh, Hezbollah has been has been by request and by、uh, coordination by the of the Syrian government.、Um, unlike unlike all these Chechens and and、uh, Afghans and Arab jihadists who are here turning on our and so. And killing our people, beheading our people, raping every day without the permission of any Syrian and without the agreement of of, of most of the us Syrian Syrian people. I、um, am sympathetic to your situation in Aleppo. Is there anything that you want to say that maybe I forgot to ask you? I really don't know if I can say anything, but I mean. I just wanted to deliver this message that they try, they are trying to break us down, and we will never surrender. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Lepo. Thank、and、you, Commander Niti. <laughs>